Hey everybody, Brandon Railway 6920 here, doing the uh, promised video review of the Walther's Mainline SD70ACE. This was a Florida East Coast number 104, but I have it painted for Brandon Railway. Uh, once again, I am up here in my room to do this, that way you can see the true pulling power. Um, like I said, there is a grade here, but I'm not 100% sure what it is. It's just the way the floor is. There are 37 cars on this consist, and I am not putting a secondary locomotive on here. Um, it, it does struggle just a bit, but I'm not going to put a secondary locomotive on. Just so you can see that this will pull 37 cars by itself with a, if I had to guess, maybe a... 2% grade, so I mean that's considerable pulling power. Um, without any further ado, uh, zero is the headlight, five controls the hyperlight, it does flash with the horn, but because both ditch lights or hyperlights are um, attached to the same CV, there is no way to make them alternate without changing a CV or changing the pad or something like that. I'm, I haven't read too much into it. If you guys know how to do that, please let me know because I would love to make them alternate. So um, there is a little bit of a cab interior. You can see through the window there, but not a whole lot. Um, the number boards are separately applied so you could take those off and put other number boards on i will be doing a little bit of touch up paint and then numbering and putting the decals on this it is only about halfway done i do have one side done but anyhow uh, f8 is the mute button on this so here's the volume the bell now I have sped the bell up a little bit to try to match what Norfolk Southern does and then here's the horn Effectively, button 4 does nothing, 6 does nothing, 7 is also mute on the Walters main line, and 9 does nothing. But uh, here we go on the polling test. Like I said, there are 37 cars. And she does struggle just a bit. I'm not even at one on the throttle pack. There's only five on the throttle pack. But uh, I'm not even at one, and she's pulling fairly nice. Doesn't seem to be struggling yet. But uh, once we get back to the covered hoppers, she seems to start struggling just a bit. I think that's where the weight starts to really start coming up the grade. You can see she's starting to slow down, even though I'm trying to bump the throttle up just a little bit at a time to keep from doing wheel slip. Um, this does seem to be where the, the bulk of the weight starts to come uphill. Um, like I said, I, um, I, I do like this model. Uh, it does run nice on my Atlas Master DCC system, so it can 
function on just about anything. Must have hit a dead spot in the track there for a second. Uh, I do believe I would give Walters a A on this because everything seems to be prototypically correct. The uh, I'm not sure about rivet counting because obviously I've painted it for Brandon Railway, but it seems to look very nice, run very nice and smooth. Uh, Break-in period, it does take about an hour to fully break this locomotive in to where it does run real nice, and I haven't run it a whole lot, so I think that's why it's skipping just a bit. But other than that, a solid A for Walther's mainline on this. I think they've done a good job with their SD70 ACE. Um, speaker is very loud, which I like. I like those louder locomotives. Catch her as she comes back around here past my Virginian coal train. She's starting up the grade on the back side of the room again. Which is actually kind of good because doing that uh, with the grade on the back side, you can get a good listen to uh, all the throttle sounds that are on this because I just hit a dead spot. Oh, let's see. Come on. There we go. Yeah, with the grade, it's nice because it does give you a good listen to all the throttle sounds and uh, as it gears up and everything. It does sound like it slows down around two, two and a half. And again around three and a half. As you can see, she is pulling this fairly nicely. She is struggling just a bit. But that's because there's 37 cars and there's like a double grade in this room. It's really weird. It's old house. But, um, another dead spot. But 37 cars behind Walther's mainline SD70 Ace. I don't think you can complain too much. Like I said, a solid A on this. You should be able to do whatever you want. 1% uh, grade, you put a couple of them together, or even three of them together, you should have a really nice consist and everything. So, um, anyways, I will be reviewing my 2662 as soon as it comes in, it, which should be Friday or Saturday. And uh, let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing some DC reviews, because I do have some nice Atherin Genesis and a Mantua Classic DC locomotives. And, um, I have a complete Virginian coal train that I'm working on, and some other stuff that at least I find to be fairly neat. So, if you guys want me to do some reviews on that, I gladly will. But, um, get a good look at the nose of the locomotive here turn my light away so you can see the ditch lights better.
The headlight is a double nose light. Said fu function five controls the ditch lights. Zero controls the main lights. So she runs really nice. Like I said, for 37 cars behind it, I think it runs really nice. Um, I'm gonna try something real quick here. Move the camera. I'm gonna see because I haven't even tried this before. See if uh, putting it on reverse. If it'll pull it, I mean, it should, but you never know. <laughs> I've been amazed at how many times some things work in forward but don't work very well in reverse. This will also give you a good look at the side that's completed with the Brandon Railway logo. Track power volume. Here's a better look at the Brandon Railway side that is practically done. I still have to do some numbering and a little bit of detail work around the exhaust grills. Now, I think I did get a little bit of paint on the light on the front because the backlight is much brighter. Whoa, no, don't want to go that way. There it is. Seems to be much brighter. Like I said, you could MU two or three of these together and put a nice 70, tra uh, 70 car train together if you have a, a big enough layout or if you have a small layout with a bunch of hills and stuff, you'd probably need two or three. But overall, solid A for Walther's mainline. Like I said, let me know if you guys want a review of DC stuff or unit trains or just other stuff, other equipment that I have. And, uh... Let me know in that comment section below, and please don't forget to like. Thanks. See you later.